Radio. You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs> Woof and super smiles. And we are on a super smiley adventure for this show. We're at the Golden Collar Awards the world's first awards ceremony celebrating dog actors in film and television. At the amazing Century Plaza Hotel in Century City, Pet Life Radio is on the red carpet where human and canine actors are strutting their stuff in hopes of winning the golden collar. Nominees include the little Jack Russell Uggie from the Academy Award-winning film The Artist, Bridget the French Bulldog from the Emmy-winning TV show Modern Family, and our friend Hercules from Animal Planet's The Pit Boss. Martin Scorsese wrote an article for the L.A. Times asking that his Doberman Blackie from Hugo become a write-in nominee. Media from all over the world is here. Even Triumph, the insult dog from Conan O'Brien's here. The celebrity dogs and stars are out in force. We're going to make sure we talk to the Academy Award-winning stars of the artists when they arrive. And now I see Wendy Malick from Hot in Cleveland, which also stars mega animal lover Betty White. Hi, Wendy. I'm Megan Blake with Pet Life Radio. We have Wendy Malik here. Thank you so much for being here and all the work you do for animals. Oh, it's my pleasure. They do so much for me. They do. I understand that you grew up with animals. Tell us about your experience, your life experience with them. Well, my older sister was a collie who was two years older than me, and um, I've just never, I've just found that life without four footed sentient beings just isn't quite as full and wonderful. And don't you believe that the animals are healers and teachers? Absolutely. Yes. What have they taught you? That the greatest communication is often without words. And something about, I think, unconditional love, loyalty, true empathy, compassion. I, I learned that from the animals I live with every day. Right. They teach on a different level than humans can teach. Do you agree with that as well? Yes, and sometimes we have to just shut up and feel <laughs> and experience. That's the best, and I like that, shut up and feel. And we're so happy that you're here at the Golden Collar Awards tonight. Don't you think this is an amazing event that they've created? Well, it's pretty crazy how many people have shown up, but when you think about it, you know, how many people remember it? Remember the dog in that movie or the horse in that movie? We just, my niece and I just finished reading War Horse, and we go to sleep reading about horses every night because she's... She's mad for them. We have yeah. horses and, and donkeys as well. And I actually think I saw you one time at a Monty Roberts exhibition. Have you ever been to yes, one? I yes, I saw you at the Equestrian it's Center. Amazing. Yeah. And the whole idea of joining up rather than intimidation, uh, it's such a great way to train. Right. And so everyone knows Monty Roberts is the horse whisperer, and there's so much we can learn from him so communicating. Much. Yes, tell us about gentling the animals. Well, I think that the whole idea about earning the trust of another creature rather than dominating them is something that, you know, is just such a great life lesson for the way we should be treating each other. I love that. Wendy Malik, thank you so much for joining us on Pet Life Radio. This is so crazy here. This is the wildest red carpet I have ever been on because usually the people are there and they're looking all beautiful and they're having a fun time. But these are dogs on skateboards, on luggage racks. They're barking. They're rolling around. You know what it is? It's possum. Shorty! Hey, how are you? It's so good. good to see you. Shorty Rossi here on Pet Life Radio with Hercules. Hey! How's it going? How you been? I'm wonderful, and congratulations on your nomination. You all so deserve it. Well, thank you. I'm glad to see you with us here. Yes, I'm so excited to see you, too. And I told you that this season, your show was just absolutely amazing. The Pit Boss on Animal Planet. And you got to watch the season finale on Saturday. And oh, Saturday. It's tell- two hours. It's a two-hour season finale. It's the greatest thing in the world, and we're actually raising money for the local pit bull rescues like Karma, uh, Pet Orphans, Fur Baby. So people watch the show, we make money for the rescues. That's such a smart idea. You're such a good business person, too. I love it. And this year, I know um, you went to Colorado and tried to change the law that the, the pit bulls can't be allowed. I mean, you did so much activism this year. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, because we're going to Denver, let it be an aired nationally on there, we have actually changed the law for the service dogs, and they now allow pit bull service dogs. They still have a ban, but they're lightening up a little. we got a long ways to go. You know, no, that's amazing, Shorty. You changed the law. All right. Well, thank you. Yes. Yeah, so we got good things going. Did you read my book yet, Four Feet Tall and Rising? No, say it again. Four Feet Tall and Rising. It, I love it. It came out about three weeks ago, and it's a hit already. No, I didn't know about it. I yes. totally am going to go get it. Go yeah, get I will. And we love Hercules. I wish you the very best of luck thank in the show tonight. Again. It's really good. Are you going to be at the Genesis Awards, too? I hope so. Yeah, I hope so, too. I'll see you there. <laughs> it's so good to run into you. That was Shorty Rossi and nominee Hercules from Animal Planet's The Pit Boss. 
I see the artist stars James Cromwell, Missy Pyle, and Beth Grant stepping onto the red carpet. Let's take a quick break, and we'll have them here when we get back. Oh, Smiley, this is going to be hard to wait for. Good boy. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Well, four to be exact. I'm Smiley Dog. I'm Super Smiley. Must rock. Petco, where the pets go. Petco, where the pets go. Pet Life Radio has tail wagging, fur flying, fabulous deals for our listeners from Petco. Get six dollars off your order of sixty dollars or more, and up to forty percent off the entire Petco site. That's right. But that's not all. Because you're a Pet Life Radio listener, you'll also get free shipping on your order of forty nine dollars or more. Six dollars off, up to forty percent off. Free shipping from Pet Life Radio and Petco. To get these awesome deals, go to PetcoDeals.com. That's PetcoDeals.com. Petco, where the pets go. Dyson. The new Dyson Animal Vacs are powerful bagless upright vacuums for homes with pets. Air muscle and radio root cyclone technology generates the strongest suction power to powerfully remove dust, dirt, and pet hair from the home or car. To order your Dyson Animal Vac, go to PetLifeRadio.com forward slash Dyson. PetLifeRadio.com forward slash Dyson. To order your Dyson Animal Vac today. Dyson. Music to your ears. Coast to coast and around the world, it's All Behave with Arden Moore. Find out why cats and dogs do the things they do and get the latest buzz from wagging tongues and tails in Rin Tin Tinseltown. From famous pet experts and best-selling authors to television and movie stars, you'll get great tail-wagging pet tips and have a fur-flying fun time. All Behave with America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Every week on demand, this is the place for a special paparazzi treat. Only on PetLifeRadio.com. And we're back on a super smiley adventure, talking with the stars from the Academy Awards Best Picture winner, The Artist. And we're on Pet Life Radio with Missy Pyle. James Cromwell and Beth Grant. First of all, congratulations to all of you for the beautiful film, The Artist. Thank you very much. Oh, thank, thank you. We're so thrilled. We're so excited. James, Beth, and Missy, congratulations on your Academy Award for your picture. What was it like working on such an unusual film that won our hearts? Missy? Well, I mean, I think for all of us, this is the first a, a silent film, and, and just to be a part of it and to have it be accepted the way it's been accepted and to also be beloved by so many people and to be just an incredible story and, and also, you know, to have this incredible dog in the film and be made by French people. It's, it feels like this is a universal film, truly. <laughs> I agree. And James, you've done so much work with the Humane Society of the United States, so much advocacy for animals. Tell us a little bit about that so we can appreciate that side of you as well. Companion animals are what makes us human. And to have Uggy in this film as a character, as an actor, not just as an accessory or background, but an integral part of the story and deliver a wonderful performance, which people react to, just reinforces in all of us the, the feeling that we have about these animals and who they are and what their rights should be, that we shouldn't slaughter them or be cruel to them or eat them. Very well said. And you also mentioned Uggy being in the movie. I agree. It wasn't like he was a prop or just an extra character. He was part of the ensemble. Do you agree with that, Beth? Yes, I think he was our third lead. And in Jean's darkest hour, Uggy is there for him. And James was saying, tell that again about when you see that scene. Well, at the end, of course, when, when Jean is, it is most depressed and uh, is thinking of killing himself, Uggy is pulling on his Legs. pant leg. And Uggy steps back and begins to bark. And because it's a silent film, of course, you, you're always trying to fill in what people are saying. And I hear, don't do it. Don't do it. Absolutely. Clear as a bell. And I believe that animals in our real lives, that they tell us things. They're teachers and healers. Do you all believe that as well? I Absolutely. I think animals, I mean, I have three dogs, you know, and, and when I come home, I'm always amazed at how present they are and how attend they're, they're so full of nothing. I mean, obviously there's the unconditional love thing, but it's not, it's not a small thing. I and mean, they're literally there, like just absolutely full. And it reminds me like, oh, because I, when I think about how much of a day am I really fully present and they live like every day, there's like seven days to them, you know, and it's just this incredible gift they give us. They have a sixth sense. 
and they know what we're thinking and how we're feeling and their ears. I'm always amazed with my dog Angel's ears, how she responds to whatever's going on in the house. If I'm sad, her ears go down, you know. She doesn't like television. If we're watching a film, she leaves the room. She doesn't oh, really? want, I, I don't know. She has taste. <laughs> well, did she like says, oh, she's seen that one. <laughs> did she like the artist, though? Do you think she'd like that movie? Oh, I know she'd love that one. <laughs> she loves silent, silent features. Yes. Tell us about your pets at home, Beth. Yeah. I have a 65-pound mutt full of love. She's just 65 pounds of love and five cats, although actually four have passed away in the last year. It's kind of, they kind of all are very old, and they just, I think, wanted to be with each other. So I have one cat left. I sort of treat myself like a pet, so... <laughs> What was Uggy to you in the film? Well, Uggy is the third lead of the film. Like, it, I think if there was an Oscar, he, he would be nominated for an Oscar if he could be. I have actually a scene with Uggy when I bring George home and I, I put him on the bed and I look to Uggy like, so what happens now? And Uggy says to me, don't worry, I got it. And I go, oh, okay. Uh, and I felt like I was acting with another actor. We understood each other completely. He was taking care of it, and I was off the hook. Pretty good performance. Thank you again, James Cromwell, Missy Pyle, and Beth Grant, stars of the Academy Award-winning film The Artist, which introduced us to the adorable new canine actor, Uggy. And that's Tillman up there barking on the stage. He's not on a skateboard because we're on carpet here. Tillman is on a big giant cart like what you use in hotels. Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> Tillman is actually trying to move the huge luggage cart and get on it like a skateboard. We're going to talk with Ron Davis, his handler, in just a moment. And remember, Tillman is the one that's starting the new show on Animal Planet. Who let the dogs out? We're going to ask him who, who did it in just a second. There's Norman, the skateboarding dog, and he is upright on a luggage rack skateboarding. Can you see that in your mind? Yep, that's what he's doing. <laughs> And Smiley knows Tillman. Here they are. Ron Davis, Tillman's handler. Hey, you're on Pet Life Radio. Hey. How are you? Good to see you again. It is so good to see you. I want everyone to know the Super Smiley has gone on after Tillman with a Super Smiley flash mob. And we have one question for you. Who let the dogs out? Um, I, yeah, I think Tillman did. He knows how to open doors now. So. Yeah, and isn't that the name of your show coming up yeah, on Animal Planet? Yeah. Tell us about that. Well, it's, uh, it's kind of like a... a a talent show. We're looking for really cool dogs across the country, and a lot of things happen in between because we got four bulldogs living on an RV. And right, that's what I going to ask you. You're actually traveling with the dogs on the RV, right? Yeah, yeah. It's an interesting, uh, it's something everybody should experience at least once in their life. Tell me, it's such a cool dude. Have you, You've had other bulldogs, right? Yeah, I have two other bulldogs, Rose and Sully. I love those names, Rose and Sully. Yeah. And how did you pick this breed? Is it because they like the um, the skateboards, or did you just like the breed? Just uh, it was just dumb luck. You know, he was a run of the litter, <laughs> and nobody really wanted him, so he came to our family, and then uh, we just kind of mutated into bulldog love. You know, I always say bulldogs rule. So. Well, good luck tonight. You're one <laughs> yeah. of the nominees, and is Tillman keeping his paws crossed? I, you know, as long as he gets to skate, he's happy. So <laughs> tomorrow's is, a new day. There you go. Well, good luck tonight. Right, Thank you. you. Sure. Bye. There's Lou Parker with her dog, Monkey. Monkey now has a new show, and Lou has won a Genesis Awards from the Humane Society of the United States. Hi, Lou. It's Megan Blake. Hi, good to yeah, see you. Yeah, really good to course. see you, too. How's it going? And I'm wonderful, and I'm here tonight with Pet Life Radio. Lou Parker is here with it. Monkey. We are so happy to be here. We actually haven't stood on a stage like that before. That was kind of interesting <laughs> in four-inch platforms, but it was well, fun. You looked wonderful, and I understand Thank Monkey you. has a new show. Tell us about the show. Monkey does have a new show. He's actually um, a journalist, just like I am, and he's <laughs> telling stories on a new site called PetsAme.com. It is a, a combination lifestyle pet show channel, actually, that... Finn DeBana, who did America's Funniest Home Videos, started, and he does, for Leash Line News, he goes out and interviews inspiring dogs, like guide dogs and dogs for the blind, and tomorrow we're actually going to a sheep herding ranch. Oh, that's wonderful. It sounds cool? like so much fun. Yeah. Yes. So what do you think Monkey's going to think about that? You know what? I think he'll be a little crazy at the sheep herding <laughs> ranch place, but he'll love it, and you know, he's so good with all animals and children and people so he's a really great dog for this show just because he's able to go out and talk about not necessarily talk about but um blog you're so funny talk about <laughs> through yeah well he actually kind of does talk well, on i believe show. animals do talk they do tell us things and what do you think it, you know what he talks on this show actually we have his mouth moving and so then we superimpose a voice on it so he can give a message so he has a voice it's sort of like a 
older teenager, fun, love life voice. I love that. That's so cute. And I want everyone to know that Luke Parker has won a Genesis Awards. You do so much work down in the southern part of L.A. with the kids in the schools. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, the Genesis Awards is what I do with KTLA as a journalist, telling stories about anything from horse rescue to elephant abuse to dog fighting and the ills of dog fighting. And then with my nonprofit, Lou Parker Project, that's where I work in South L.A. with a lot of at-risk teenagers and the South L.A. shelter. And we try to combine the two so we can educate because so many times we have these rescues, which we are a rescue as well, but I really want rescues to go away because... We don't want rescues because we don't want homeless animals. So it's all about education, and that's key. Absolutely, Lou. Thank you so much for what you do, and I hope you have a wonderful Thank time with Monkey. So and if you get a chance, go to Pets and Me. It's like petsami.com um, and subscribe and watch his show if you can. I would love okay, to. Great. Have a Thank great you. time tonight. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Did y'all have fun? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. much fun. Cool. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. There he is. There he is. Blackie from Martin Scorsese's Academy Award winning film Hugo. Remember, Martin Scorsese campaigned feverishly to have his Blackie win a Golden Collar Award nomination, and here they are. Hi, I'm Megan Blake with Pet Life Radio. Thank you for coming over with the Blackie Fan Club. And there's been a lot going on in the news with Martin Scorsese and the Blackies and Hugo, so could you please tell us what's been going on? What's been going on? Well, Martin Scorsese felt like uh, she deserved to be recognized, rightly so. Uh, She's done a great job on Hugo, and uh, so that's pretty much what's happening. uh, He's sorry he couldn't be here tonight. He actually really wanted to come with Blackie. They are touring in Japan uh, to promote the movie, so that's a reason. But uh, he's actually uh, really honored that Finally, the dog got nominated. Yes, Hugo's on quite a whirlwind tour now, and I love what Martin Scorsese said, that he wanted the big dogs represented, because sometimes the little cute ones, they get all of the attention, but we want to make sure the big dogs get positive attention, too. Do you agree with that? I totally agree, absolutely, and I think it's nice to have such a big breed that is... um, Her role in in Hugo was just so well done in some ways. Yes, and actually she was a write-in. She was not originally nominated, and that's why Martin wrote the Los Angeles Times article to get Blackie nominated, right? Absolutely, yes. We're so happy. So if you all win, are you going to go up and accept the award? Yes, of course. Do you have a speech prepared? I was a trainer. I, I don't. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. You know. <laughs> and you are the trainer. It'll be yes. Well, congratulations on all your wonderful work and on your nomination, and have a Thank wonderful you time. So tonight. much. And uh, Hugo is coming out DVD and uh, Blu-ray 3D. So, if you have missed Blackie, please come and see her at your home. <laughs> we'll be happy to come see her. And tell me your name, please. Matilda Cagney. Matilda Cagney, thank you for joining us with the Blackies on Pet Life Radio. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, there's Robert Vince. Remember, a super smiley adventure was just at his premiere of Treasure Buddies. Tonight, he's getting a Lifetime Achievement Award as the filmmaker for his Disney Buddies film series. And one of his stars, B-Dog, is nominated tonight. Hi, we're back with Robert Vince for Pet Life Radio at the Golden Collar Awards. Hi, Robert. Hi, Megan. How are you? I'm great. And you're nominated for the Legendary Creator Award. What is the name of the award? I know it's something to do with legendary, <laughs> so that what that usually means is you're getting old. No, no. Like I said that on our last interview, though, you have an illustrious, very decorated career, and, and now you're here getting this award for your lifetime achievement, basically. That is really, really flattering. It is. Yes. You know, and, and I love the enthusiasm here. Isn't it crazy? This is the craziest red carpet ever. Did you see Tillman on the luggage rack? No, I didn't see that yet, but I got to see that. Oh, my gosh. Instead of his skateboard, he's on a luggage rack pushing it around. (laughs) And once again, Robert Vince has done the entire Buddy series, starting with Air Bud. So tell us about your series. Well, the Buddy series is uh, a spinoff from the original Air Bud, where we have these five distinct puppies that go on these adventures around the world. And now we're uh, Treasure Buddies just came out, and Treasure Buddies takes place in Egypt, and it's just a fun adventure with our buddies. Right, and one of your buddies is nominated from Spooky Buddies, right, for an award tonight. Tell us about him. That's B Dog, <laughs> and B Dog is always he's the uh, the pup with the greatest attitude. He's the uh, the one the hip hop type pup, and he's uh, I'm not surprised though. Is I that mean, him right there? Oh, that is him. Got a picture with him. Sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. I'm gonna get a picture with Robert Vince and B Dog. That's a big puppy, Robert. How old is he? Hey, Mr. B Dog. Oh, he's such a cutie. Oh, here we go. All right. Pet Life Radio. 
And P-Dog was just kissing the microphone. Bye, Robert. Thank you so much, and good luck tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. That was a cute, cute puppy. There are more stars making their way over here. Polly Perrette from NCIS, Jacqueline Emerson from The Hunger Games, and Cosmo from Beginners are coming up right after the break. Smiley, we have to wait. Good dog. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Well, four to be exact. I'm Smiley Dog. I'm Super Smiley. Must rock. Every pet is unique. Maybe they're gray in the muzzle, yet young at heart. Maybe they're growing out of the puppy stage and into their paws and ears. Or maybe they're just trying to maintain a more girlish figure. At PetSmart, we have the right food for your pet at a great value for you. PetSmart. Be better together. <coughs> Go to PetLifeRadio.com slash PetSmart and save up to 30% on toys, collars, leashes, PetSmart gift cards, treats, and more. Go to PetLifeRadio.com slash PetSmart today. I don't make any decisions about who to hire without going to Angie's List first. You'll find reviews on home repair to health care written by people just like you. With Angie's List, I know who to call and I know the results will be fantastic. Angie's List, that you can trust. Go to Angie'sList.com forward slash super and get 25% off any subscription. That's Angie'sList.com forward slash super, S-U-P-E-R. Love My Pets, the new single by Mark Winter, available on iTunes. Having a rough day? Longing for the dog days of summer? Think your fun furry friend lives a dog's life? Well, find out everything you're begging to know as Pet Life Radio presents It's a Doggy Dog World with pet expert and award-winning author Liz Palaika. Every dog has his day, and you'll find out how to make your dog's day fun and rewarding. Every week, on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's Talk Pets. Let's Talk Pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Hello, this is Ryan O'Neill, and I'm on a super smiley adventure with Megan Blake. Join us. And we're back at the Golden Collar Awards on the red carpet with dog lover Polly Perrette from the hit TV series NCIS. Hi, Polly. I'm Megan Blake with Pet Life Radio. We met at the Genesis Awards Yay. one year. And we're doing that again this year. Yes, it's so wonderful to see you. You're such an animal advocate. And yes, please tell us about what's going on here tonight. This is the first annual Golden Collar Awards. It's just sort of a celebration of animals on television and in film and then also um, canine units. Which I, that makes me really happy because I also work with, uh, with, I love firefighters and I love the police department. I work with them too. So it's just a really fun event celebrating awesome dogs. Right. And these working dogs, they do, they save lives. They do so much with us. They really bond on a deeper level than even people can bond sometimes. Do you agree with that? I am closer to my dogs than I've ever, than you can't, there is no better connection than that. They're my life. But the working dogs and the canine units, they, they really are heroes. They save lives. They're absolutely a part of the force. They indeed are heroes. And I believe animals also teach us things. Do you learn oh, something from your pets? I learn things from my dogs and pets all the time. And I also, as an actor, I have so much inspiration from them. And I play, one of my dogs, Cece, is, was the model for my character, Abby, out in CIS. So interesting. Every, I love that. Every characteristic from Abby, the way she holds her head, the way she walks, everything is my dog, Cece. I love that because they communicate with energy and acting has so much to do with just energy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The, and my dog is actually a rescue from the Amanda Foundation, which is being honored tonight. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for talking with us on Pet Life Radio. Have a wonderful night. Thank Bye. you. You too. Jacqueline Emerson is with us here from the Hunger Games. We're here on Pet Life Radio. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi. And you're presenting tonight, right? I am. I'm so excited. 
Yes, this is a wonderful awards ceremony. Don't you believe that animals are healers and teachers and they teach us things? Oh, of course. I mean, who doesn't? That's why we all love animals so much. <laughs> and who do you have here with you tonight? I have my dog, Ginger. She's a rescue. Um, I'm so excited to bring her. She gets to meet all these new dogs. <laughs> yes, and I, all my animals are rescues as well. I think that's so important. Do you, uh, you're an animal rescue advocate, I, I assume? A huge advocate. I think it's really important. I mean, there's so many dogs that get sent to the pound each day, and we should do whatever we can to help them, you know. I agree. That's an amazing message. Well, I hope you have a wonderful time presenting Thank you tonight. So much. Bye, and good luck with you. Your Thank you. Bye. There's Lori from Guide Dogs of America. We met her at the Treasure Buddies premiere, too. Lori, it's oh, Megan. Yes, come here. Give me a hug. How are you? Oh, it's so good oh, to see good you. To see and you. Lori, you look absolutely beautiful tonight. Oh, yes. Oh, it's good to see you. I'm again. so happy we met Lori last week at the Treasure Buddies premiere and her beautiful dog here Carter? and your Carter and your pictures yes. turned out wonderfully. So tell us what we're doing tonight. Well, we're here to support the first Golden Collar Awards. And even though our dogs aren't actors, they're they're doing something to help people smile like the actor dogs are doing. Absolutely. And many of the dogs play dogs that save the world and do all the heroic acts. But your dog does that every day, it's right? It's an every day. He's my golden collar winner. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. And hi. who are, hi. Tell us about you. I'm Debbie. I'm a puppy raiser for Guide Dogs of America. And this is my puppy, Hunter. Hunter, hey, sweet boy. Hey, sweetheart. Now, um, does that mean you're a trainer as well? I'm a volunteer for Guide Dogs of America, and I will raise the puppy for about 15 to 18 months and then turn him back into Guide Dogs of America where he'll be trained to be a guide dog. Wonderful. That's amazing work. And I know that all the dogs in the films tonight, they've all done such great, creative, beautiful roles. Do you have a favorite or what do you think? What do you think? I Linda? love dogs. So any dog that wins is a winner for me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? We said this last time. Any person who has a dog is a winner. It's too, a right? winner for us. Exactly. Absolutely. Well, thank oh, you so much for talking with us again on Pet Life Radio. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. There's Norman the Scooter Dog that we saw earlier. He's on Who Let the Dogs Out, too. Hi, Karen. You're on Pet Life Radio, and I love Norman. Oh, thank you. What he did is just absolutely so cute. Isn't it wonderful that they're having these, these Golden Collar Awards? What do you think about the awards ceremony tonight? I think this is so exciting. I love this. I would have been home watching this if I wasn't here. Absolutely. Home watching it with Norman, right? Oh, of course, yes. Yes, and I understand that you have a new show coming out, Who Let the Dogs Out? Yes. Tell us about the show. Well, it starts this Saturday. It's at 10 a.m. every Saturday on Animal Planet, and its natural balance canine sports team is traveling around looking for the next addition to the team. That's wonderful. Dick Van Patten was just on our show last week, so we're really excited about the show. He announced it on our show, as a matter of fact. And does Norman do any other tricks? Does he like anything else? Uh, well, he is in the process of learning a new big trick. It will release very soon. <laughs> it's going to be a surprise. Yeah, it's, it's a big one. And he also does things like he wipes his feet when he comes in. He wipes his beard after he takes a drink. He does a lot of house manners. We like ah. to keep him clean, you know, all that right. fur. Right. And does Norman teach you anything about life? Does he tell you anything? Norman teaches me to have fun. I mean, he makes everything fun, really. And he helps you meet friends. And, you know, you can't go anywhere and not talk to people with Norman. Great. Well, have fun tonight. Oh, thank you so much. Bye, Karen. Bye, Norman. You want to speak? Good. Speak. Speak. You can't eat it. Speak. Good. That's Bridget from Modern Family. I love that. <laughs> I've already started the interview. <laughs> I love Bridget, your little French bulldog from Modern Family. Thank you very much. We love her too. Yes. And you're her trainer hand. Uh huh. Yes, I sure am. Oh, she's just so adorable. So tell us about tonight. Where are we and what are we doing? She's nominated. Oh my goodness. She's had a very busy day all day today. She's had camera crews follow her doing her grooming and her outfit trying on and her collar changes and um, now she's ready for the big night. And she's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. I want everyone to know since this is radio, she's got a beautiful pink collar with jewels and she's oh. very good choice. Oh yes, yes. And her leopard print, her leash. Oh, of course. I love that. And obviously you're the trainer, so you tell her what to do. But I also believe that animals teach us a lot in our lives. Do you believe that? Tell it, absolutely. Tell it. Absolutely. I learn every day from animals. I work everything from ants to elephants. So every day is a learning experience. So do you learn different things from elephants that you learn from a different species? Do they teach different lessons? Absolutely. And every, every situation is different. When you're in, in with them, they teach you something and they teach you patience. Is probably one of the biggest things that you learn with working with animals. Absolutely. I love that. And thank you so much for working with the elephants, too, because I know they're very misunderstood and there have been a lot of documentaries about, you know, the proper way to train them. So thank you so much for being an ambassador for these animals. 
Oh, they're my favorite. Absolutely. So. Well, good luck tonight. We'll be looking for you. Thank you very much. Here's Cosmo from Beginners. What makes a good dog actor? To make a dog a good actor is a dog that is very playful and outgoing and uh, wants to be part of it. So you want a dog that's hyper, you know. (laughs) And what does Cosmo have to say about all this? Cosmo is loving it. (laughs) He looks like he's loving it. He's a cute little boy. Good luck, Cosmo. I love that they use rescue dogs. What a great testimony for pet adoption. And next, I see Laura and Preston. For Pet Life Radio, we're here with Laura Natimo and Preston Casanova. Hey, Laura. Hi, Pet Life Radio. Hi, Megan. We're so happy to be here at the Golden Collar Awards. So are you, do you have anyone that you're pulling for? Any, any favorite? Absolutely. We're pulling for Team Uggie because Preston <laughs> and Uggie have the same agent. They've both been with Sarah Clifford for 10 years. And Sarah is one of the hardest working animal trainers, the most compassionate people you will ever meet. And all of Team Uggie is just so dedicated to him that we have to support you know, our friends. So we're Absolute, really proud of them. Absolutely. And it's obvious that they're doing a really good job because he's in two movies that are nominated this year. What do you think about that? No, I think it's crazy. It's like some actors, you know, you get hot and all of a sudden <laughs> all your movies are coming out at the same time. So, right. Uggy, we're so proud of him. Right. And you're doing some amazing things now, too. What is it? Dog Park Superstars? Yes. Yeah, tell us about that. I hosted uh, the second Dog Park Superstars this past summer, and I'm so excited. I'm the new creative director for Petsami.com, which is a new pet entertainment network for pets by pets. And Preston has his own show called Furbulous Living. So, dogs <laughs> I love are that. keeping me busy. They put me to work. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. Well, thank you for talking with us, Lauren Nativo, and good luck with everything with thank you and Preston. You, Megan, you look beautiful as uh, always. Me too. Red's the color for the night, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Valentine's Day. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, there's actor Alexander Newton. Alexander Newton is here with us on Pet Life Radio at the Golden Collar Awards. Hi, Alexander. Hello. How are you? I'm wonderful. So you're here supporting the awards. Do you have animals in your life? I do. I have a dog. He's an Akita called Yogi. Those are big dogs. Yeah, yeah he's really big. He's great. They're powerful as well. Did you train him yourself or is he, is he easy or hard to manage? Um, he's really easy to manage. We had like a professional trainer help out with training him. So, you know, he's, he's really good. He's, he's such a chill dog. And I believe that we learn something from our dogs every day. Does he teach you something? He teaches me to kind of just go with the flow. Yes, I hear that. Go with the flow, patience to be in the moment. They have so, the list goes on and on. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. The list goes on and on. Like he's always going up to people smiling. Like dogs smile. (laughs) My dog smiles. And he understands so much. It's so funny to think, you know, your dog understands so many things that you're saying to them. And the way they respond back is so kind of physical instead of verbal. Absolutely, and it's very specific. Actually, I think it's easier to communicate with my dog than sometimes with humans. How do you feel about that? Well, I guess it all depends on the type of dog you have. <laughs> and the type of human you're talking exactly to. Exactly, you're talking to, yeah. yeah. I, and I love your accent. Where are you from? I'm from London. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, you're here supporting the awards tonight. Do you have any favorites? I've seen a couple of them. I grew up with Jack Russell, so I saw that Jack Russell. He was really, really cool. Um, they all look great. They, they all look great, yeah. They do. Alexander, well, thank you so much for talking with us on Pet Life Radio, and good luck with your film. Thank you so much. Best of luck with this. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Oh, there's the comedian who's opening the show, Eliza Schlesinger. Hi, Hi. Eliza. We're on Pet Life Radio with Eliza Schlesinger. Yes. From your, is it your excuse or excused? It's called the excuse. Excuse. That's a dating show, right? Comedy dating show, yeah. Yeah. And you're opening the show tonight, right? I am. I've written some dog-friendly slash appropriate jokes. <laughs> They said no cat material. I cut out the one joke I had. And I'm just here to make people laugh, and it's a fun cause, and, and it's important to honor the dogs that entertain us. Absolutely. It's an amazing cause because I believe dogs contribute to our lives so much. Don't you agree with that? Your quality of life, once you own a dog, or any pet really, unless it's an iguana, that's weird, <laughs> is exponentially better. So ever since I adopted my dog, I've just been less lonely. And I agree. Yeah. I agree. And I understand that your dog, Blanche, is a rescue as well. She is a rescue dog. I'd like to say she rescued me, but I was fine. She's a rescue dog, and I've had her for three years, and we go everywhere together. It's kind of become a problem. Oh, does she tell you things every day? Yeah, leave me alone. Stop Stop kissing my stomach. It's weird. <laughs> no, but that's what's so great about dogs. They can take so much from us. We can love them and do whatever. I think she takes so much out of fear because she's like, oh, the last person abandoned me. If I don't let you molest me, then what's going to happen? Aww. That's a horrible thing to say, but I do Aww. every day. Well, Eliza, thank you for being with us, and thank you thank for sharing you. the levity and opening the show. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, here's an author with a really fun book that's right up our alley. 
On Pet Life Radio, I'm Megan Blake with Bob Vettieri here, and he has a wonderful book I'm looking at, From Wags to Riches. Hi, Bob. Hi, how are you? Thanks for having me. Oh, I am so excited to be here on this red carpet. Tell us what you've done in your book and what, what's going on here. This is amazing. In my book, I, f- I found out over the years that my dogs got along with people better than I ever could. So slowly but surely, I started to pay attention to what they did. And it's amazing what you could learn from your dog, just how they get along with people, how they handle people. It's just great. I completely agree. One of the themes of my show, my show is called A Super Smiley Adventure, and I believe that animals always lead us on great adventures, and also that they are teachers and healers. And every day I learn something from my dog. So share with us something. What do you learn from your dog? Well, one of the things I learned from my dog is, especially when there's several dogs together, no one dog has to do everything. I learned that I don't have to be the master of everything, that maybe one dog is the best one at finding food, another dog is the best one at finding shelter, another one is the best one at getting along with everybody. Suddenly it dawned on me at work that maybe I didn't have to do everybody else's job and I could trust the rest of them. So, I mean, just that is a simple observation that your dog really does know the right way to handle things. I love that. And you use the word simple, and dogs really do distill it down to the simplest thing. That's absolutely true. Megan, when they talk to you, they pay total attention to you. They listen to you. They respond to you. They know what you're thinking. They're actually paying attention. Same thing works for a human talking to another human. It's just, I mean, it's so many things that are so obvious once you start looking at your dog. And I tried to jot down as much of it as I could in here. I love it. I think that is absolutely fabulous. Are you going to be on stage tonight? No, I won't be on stage. Alan decided that he'll let more famous people handle that. (laughs) And Alan is the creator of the event, right? Correct, right. Alan Siskin from Dog News Daily. So I'm here to mostly uh, talk about my book, but also to just kind of mingle in with everybody. Absolutely. Well, thank you for mingling with us on Pet Life Radio. We'll be looking for your book, From Wags to Riches. Bye-bye, Bob. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. And as the night progressed, the Golden Collar Awards were awarded. The big winners were for television series, Bridget from Modern Family. For reality series, Hercules from The Pit Boss tied for first with Gigi from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Best dog in a foreign film went to Coco and Red Dog. And the best dog in a theatrical film went to Uggy from The Artist. Congratulations to all the winners and nominees. We caught Bridget on her way out. And on Pet Life Radio, I'm here with Steve Solomon with Good Dog Animals, and Bridget just won. Congratulations, Steve. Thank you so much. We couldn't be happier for this award. Uh, Bridget is ecstatic about the award, and we're loving every minute of this. Well, all of the all the dogs obviously were beautiful and talented and added so much, but Bridget did have a special charm. I'm not just saying that. I saw her. There's something special about her. You must agree. Absolutely. And like uh, my partner was saying on stage earlier, that when uh, Steve Levinston saw Bridget for the first time in person, he wanted a trained dog, but he saw something in her that was just so beautiful that he had to have her. And within 15 minutes, he made up his mind and said, that's the dog I want on Modern Family. He was absolutely right. And Modern Family has won so many awards. The humans, now the dogs, there's something very charmed about all of you. Very, very good. It's a blessed show. (laughs) So hopefully next year we'll get it again. I would love that. We'll be pulling for you. And thank you so much for talking with us. And congratulations. Thank you so much for for everything. Thank you. Bye-bye. Dog News Daily founder Alan Siskin created the Golden Collar Awards. And their anchor, Bree Strohmeyer, had a lot to cover tonight. And she did a great job. We're talking with Bree Strohmeyer. She's the anchor for Dog News Daily. Bree, the event is over, and it's absolutely beautiful, and you did an amazing job. How do you feel about it? Excited. Kind of sad it's over, though. Now it's like, what comes tomorrow? <laughs> when there's no <laughs> doggy awards to hand out. Now what do we do? I'm sure you have lots and lots to do. Are you going to be at the Genesis Awards? That I don't know. Maybe. Maybe Dog News Daily will be there. I bet you will be, because I think you all are every place. I look, and you all are covering everything, even films that don't have to do with dogs. You're there, right? Sometimes they do send us. Yeah. Well, your little Leo is so sweet and so I beautiful. Know, and he's so tired. Oh, well, I'll let you go. You, had an, you did an amazing, amazing job tonight. Thank you for inviting Pet Life Radio. We are so glad you're here. Bye. Bye. The man behind it all, Dog News Daily founder Alan Siskin, created the Golden Collar Awards. Alan, it's over. It's a fabulous, fabulous night. What do you have to say? Oh, Megan, I'm thankful that it's over, and I'm thankful that so many people around the world got to watch the first annual Golden Collar Awards. Absolutely. This was your very first one. And how many people do you think watched it? Uh, My ad agency told me that by the end of the day tomorrow, probably over 100 million people around the world will have seen a portion of the show. 
this is amazing. It's all promoting our beautiful animals. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Alan, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. Bye. Over 100 million people watched some part of the Golden Collar Awards. Thank you to Dog News Daily for inviting a super smiley adventure to join them. And the biggest thank you goes to the dogs who bring us all this joy in the movies and on television. And thank you to their trainers who rescue and use these amazing dogs as a great example for pet adoption. And thank you to all of our dogs at home who inspire us every moment of our lives. Now that is the real super smiley adventure. Until next time, woof and super smiles. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.